this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little striped mittens. They would work great as little present toppers, as tree ornaments, or I'm going to show you at the end of this video how I've used them to make an advent calendar. So the yarn that I'm using for this tutorial is Mary Maxim Mellow Spun DK Weight Yarn. This yarn was provided by Mary Maxim for this tutorial and I've used the colors buff, cream, and garnet in my mitten patterns. You'll need a four millimeter crochet hook for this tutorial. I'm using my Supernova Streamline Swirl Hook from Furls Crochet, and there will be a link in the description box for the hooks with a coupon code, plus there'll be a link for the yarn as well. So I'm gonna start with the red, which is my color garnet. And we're gonna begin with the cuff. So start out with a chain of six. And we'll work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain across. Then we'll chain one and turn. Now we'll work a single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch across. Okay, chain one and turn. Now we're gonna be repeating row two until we have a total of 18 rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and work up my 18 rows now off camera and then I'll meet you back up. Okay, so once you have your 18 rows complete, we'll chain one, fold your band together and then we're gonna slip stitch it. So go through the back loop over to the first chain and we will slip stitch down through every stitch. Make sure you get five. Chain one, now we'll flip that seam to the inside. And we'll work one single crochet for every row around. So you'll have a total of 18 single crochets worked around, whoops. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to work around 18. Okay, so once you've worked around 18, I'm going to slip stitch to join, and we can pull in the cream to start our striping pattern. We won't cut the red because we'll carry it up at the join. So now we'll chain two. You can crochet over the cream tail to save a little bit of weaving. We're gonna do some increases on this round. So we'll work a half double crochet in the first stitch. and the next stitch, and then two in the next. Okay, so one in the next two. And then two in the next. So we're gonna increase to 24 stitches so continue with that pattern all the way around. 
Okay, so on the last stitch, I'm gonna pull this back. On the last stitch, we'll change the color. So I'm increasing that final stitch, pull up a loop, then you can drop off the cream, picking back up the red, pull through, and then we'll slip stitch in the first half double to join, chain two, and we'll work one half double crochet in every stitch around. And our chain two does not count as a stitch. And on the last stitch, we're gonna change back to cream by pulling through the three loops. We'll slip stitch in the first half double to join. Chain two, and we're gonna do another round. The next round will separate off the thumb. So just work one in every stitch around. We'll change back to red on the final stitch. Slip stitch to join, chain two. And we're gonna work around 18 stitches. So one, two, three, four, Okay, so we're gonna skip over now the next one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. We're going to slip stitch and we're gonna change the color on the slip stitch. So just go through, I'm gonna drop off red, picking up the cream, pull it through, just tighten everything up. Chain two. So now we've got the thumb marked off. We're gonna be going around in 18 stitches now. Okay, so you can look at this one here. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight rounds in total, okay? So we're gonna continue working around. I'm gonna work seven rounds and then I'll show you how to work the final round. So you're just gonna continue this in the same way. So we're changing color on that last stitch, pulling up the red and we're just working one, two, three, four, five. So two more rounds after this. Okay, so now we're changing back to red, slip stitch to join. And we'll chain one. And what we'll do for this final round now, we can cut, cut off the cream. And you're gonna just work a single crochet into every other stitch. Okay, we'll slip stitch to join. Okay, and we can close the top just by weaving through every other stitch around. Just close it like this and then weave in your tail.
Okay, and then we'll just join on to finish off the thumb. Okay, so for our thumb, I'm gonna join the yarn in right here. We'll pull in the red and chain two. Then we'll work a half double crochet in every stitch around. Okay, and in the last stitch, we're going to change over to back to the cream. Okay, and then we'll slip stitch to join. Chain two. And we're just gonna work again around in half double crochets in each stitch around. We'll have some tails to weave in and there's also going to be a hole right here. We'll just use the tails to seam that closed. So I'm gonna finish that around, I'll slip stitch to join. Okay, so once you get all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch to join. And then you can fasten off, fasten off the red. You're gonna have all these tails to weave. And like I say, just use your tails to sew this part of our mitten closed. Now to close the top of the thumb. So now what we can do is just weave through the front loop of every stitch around. Pull that closed and now I'll just weave in my tails and I'm going to seam that closed as well. Okay, to finish it off, if you're making the advent calendar, I've attached one of the wooden numbers. You can get your numbers from 1 to 24 in a package from Amazon, and they also include the twine. So just tie on your number, and then you can fill your mitten with treats. I've picked up some dark chocolate, but whatever... Whatever your kids like is fine, or whatever you wanna add. Then you can use the twine to tie this to the tree ladder. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much guys, have an awesome day.